ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Open Potato, and here we check out brand new strategy games each and every day of the week. Today, we are checking out Power to the People, an energy transportation game. It's a management economy style uh, builder game where you have to take control of the energy production and the energy transportation uh, for a city. Anyway, uh, we are able to play on two of the demo levels at the moment. This is the uh, the demo that is out as part of the uh, the Steam Game Demo Festival thing, which is ongoing at the moment. Anyway, uh, we're going to jump into Phoenix and uh, we are going to play on easy mode because that is the only way that we are able to play the game in its current demo form. So, I really like this game. It's a really, really novel concept, not one that I've seen before, and I, I like it. Usually, power management in a strategy game is a component of the game. Here, it is the entire game, and it's, uh, it's very, very interesting. So, uh, there's a couple of stats here which we might talk a little bit about later on, uh, but I will draw your attention to the perks and challenges. Closing the coal mine at 15% discount on gas power, power plants. Fix it yourself. Customers only get reduced satisfaction due to neighbors not having power if they have at least three. Let's go for Mexican. No power usage spikes for residential customers at dinner time. Okay, that's fine. So let's jump into the game and uh, and let's see what the heck is happening. So uh, first and foremost, we are uh, we are going to pause the game and uh, we're going to chat about exactly what this game is and what we uh, what we get to do. Uh, so uh, this is this is it. This is it. This is the city of Phoenix. We've got some power stats. As you can see, the the total demand is ten point one three megawatts. That's fine. A population of thirteen at the moment. So it's a a reasonably a reasonably small uh, a reasonably reasonably small settlement, 13 blocks that is, uh, we obviously need to meet that demand and there's a, a variety of ways that we can actually do it. So uh, first, this is the high voltage power line construction tool. This is the low voltage power line tool. We'll talk a little bit about that in a second. Uh, this is uh, is the substation build menu and uh, we're probably going to build ourselves a basic substation uh, for use in just a moment. Uh, also, the video game apparently uh, decided to start at, uh, at that moment, which is very, very inconsiderate actually. Uh, we're going to build a power plant of some sort. Now, we have a couple of options uh, here. So we could build a diesel generator. That'll give us, you know, a middling level of... Of, uh, of megawattage output. Uh, but to be honest, we're probably going to want to go for the gas fired plant. Given that this is Phoenix, given that we have the option to get a 50% discount on the price of a gas fired uh, plant, we might as well we might as well go for it. That being said, there's nothing stopping us, apart from cash, obviously, uh, for going for a nuclear plant, which I got to be honest, I am very, very tempted by. Uh, we're going to go for the gas fired power plant in the first instance. And uh, you may notice that there is this white sort of boundary outside the uh, the city. Uh, I'm going to really quickly get this uh, get this set up here because I need to make sure that, uh, that my citizens are happy because if the citizens are not happy, well, they're going to start complaining and uh, they're going to hate me and I'm going to lose the game. Anyway, so what I just did there uh, is I got our gas power plant uh, up and running, which is lovely. Very, very happy with that. Uh, we got our substation up and running, which is able to take high voltage power through the high voltage cable and uh, compute it, turn it. Uh, into uh, into low voltage power, which can be transported along the wire. And as you can see, there is this visual to indicate exactly where the the power is going. Now, the problem with low power lines is that they can only they can only transport about thirty megawatts at a time. Hence, why I've got two. Well, primarily two because there's uh, there's different locations to where the power needs to go. Also, let's uh, let's connect that up. Now, connecting up to low voltage power lines doesn't actually make a difference because at the end of the day. Uh, there is more there is more voltage in the line at the start than there is at the uh, at the end as you can see only 3.25 by the time that it actually reaches the end because all of the individual houses and uh, convention centers and everything you know takes uh, takes power out along the route of the cable which is uh, which is fine okay new city is going to be built in eight days that is fine obviously over the course of the evening power consumption goes way down so we are way off the uh, off the peak. That we uh, that we once were at, but anyway, substation transforms uh, high voltage into low voltage power. As you can see, the capacity of the substation is uh, determined by this bar here, or I guess symbolized by this bar. Same with the same with the the power plant production at the moment. You can see it's it's symbolized by this little bar here. So max output is 80 megawatts, and our current output is eh, you know just about 16. Now. The great thing about gas-fired power plants is that the gas-fired power plant 
can go all the way up to 80 megawatts of, uh, of power production, which is grand. If, 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 if we wanted to build something like wind turbines, uh, that is not going to be a consistent level of power production because low cost of operation, but it only works when the wind is blowing. Ideal wind speed uh, over 8 meters per second, 80 miles per hour. Okay, fine. So if we were to get a... Uh, if we were to get a wind turbine, which I think is good, obviously we want renewables. That's a that's a that's a good thing. Renewables are are, are good, save the environment, yada yada yada, all of that. Uh, you can see wind speed up in the top left here. Uh, if we did want to get wind speed, then we would probably want to see. Oh my lordy, that was a that was a loud thunderstorm. Uh, we would we would probably want to get some power storage in operation. Now, the way that we go about doing that is that we build a brand new energy storage facility. So we can build a small storage facility, we can build a uh, a medium sized storage facility, or we can build the the, the best of the best, which is uh, which is kind of interesting. Uh, we're gonna go for, you know, let's go for a medium-sized facility at the moment. We'll build it, uh, we'll build it right about over here, sure, and then we will connect it up, and we will connect it up from our existing high-voltage, high-voltage, uh, wires. And this means that any excess production is just gonna get stuck straight into this battery, which is actually quite useful and the reason that it's quite useful I'll tell you is that we can turn our is we can turn our power station off automatically and we can turn it back on which means that we don't necessarily need to run it for 24 hours a day which is going to help with maintenance right end of day two has been reached it's a little bit difficult to read because I've got this power plant settings interface in the background but anyway uh customer satisfaction 100 percent total energy demanded total energy sold blah 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 we make a whole bunch of money that's excellent we've got some fixed expenses we've got some power generation costs i.e the cost of burning the, the gas uh the cost of buying the gas and then burning it and uh and that's fine Anyway, we get rated on a whole bunch of a whole bunch of stats. As you can see, energy storage is the the weak link here, and that's because we only got the energy storage set up halfway through the day. It hasn't had an opportunity to 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 completely take effect. Uh, only four and a half stars. I'm pretty disappointed. Anyway, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say turn off automatically at five. Uh, sorry, sorry, turn on automatically at five o'clock in the morning. Turn off automatically. We will turn that to like eleven o'clock in the evening. Uh, and we'll give that a punt, shall we? So I think that that's only going to take effect on the next working day. So we might want to skip forward to that point and uh, and just test it out. But for now, let's let's hold off on that and let's have a little look at the tech tree. That's right, there is a freaking tech tree here. So we can either upgrade our distribution, our generation, public relations, or power saving. Now, reinforced transformers. Substations can operate at maximum capacity for a longer time before exploding. Well, to be brutally honest, we are nowhere near. We're nowhere near hitting our substation maximum. Uh, we, we don't really need to worry about that. In fact, we don't really need to worry about anything. It's a very, very small, it's a very, very small city. Uh, two extra blocks have been added since we, uh, since we started to play. But nothing really has, uh, has come across my desk that is, uh, that is worrying. As you can see, our lithium, lithium ion battery farm is, is completely charged, which is grand. Very, very happy with that. Uh, what is this? Maintenance downtime in power plants is reduced by 50%. I think we'll actually take that because we're, we're going to be coming up to, we're going to be coming up to maintenance at some point very, very soon. Look at that. Maintenance due in eight days. And I have no idea how long maintenance is actually going to take, which is why... Uh, it's a good thing that we have our lithium-ion battery farm ready. Lithium-ion battery farm? Yeah, that's that's what it is. Uh, lithium-ion battery farm ready to rock and roll. So I'm gonna I'm gonna wait uh, whilst the video game takes us up to 11 o'clock in the evening. Then we're gonna see the whole thing shut down, and then we're gonna see the whole thing restart at 5 o'clock in the morning. Now, are we gonna have enough capacity in this battery to make uh, to make sure that everyone gets power for the evening? I sure as heck hope so. Also, you can see the capacity of our primary, our primary power line is uh, is being tested somewhat. Let's get that out there. Sure. Let's not link them this time, just in case. Right. It's 11 o'clock in the evening. Power is going to just completely fall off. Ramping down. Takes an hour to ramp up, and it takes an hour to ramp down. Efficiency, not quite there. We could have, uh, we could have used the battery a little bit more, but at the end of the day, I'm not too, I'm not too, I'm not too happy with that. Uh, I'm not too disappointed with that, I should say. Uh, we're gonna be, we're gonna be preparing to turn on. Obviously, the battery is going to, the battery is going to, to, to discharge overnight. 
I think we might just have enough power to make it through to the morning. He says with a degree of confidence that is perhaps unfounded. Yeah, we're going to be just fine. Actually, hold on. We've got to bear in mind that we're going to have a... Uh, yeah, we're going to have a ramping up hour. Oh, but it's only an hour to ramp up. That's that's completely fine. Let's, uh, let's move that to 4 o'clock in the morning. Obviously, the city is going to start to grow. And uh, the demand in our... The demand in our uh, in our battery is, or the demand on our battery is going to be uh, is going to be increasing. So there we go. Anyway, we can have a little look at the overlay here. As I have already said, the the capacity, the capacity of this substation is not the problem. It is it is rather the uh, the low voltage power line which is the issue. Also, there is a little bit of loss uh, involved in the in the transportation. As you can see, transmission efficiency is is. Yeah, it's it's not great. If we do link these, uh, if we do link these networks, that might hit. Uh, that might be a little bit higher. Transmission efficiency. Does the park use any power? The park uses a little bit of power, but clearly the transmission efficiency just ain't there quite yet. Eh, it's not a problem though. It's absolutely not a problem. All right, let's skip forward to the end of the day. There we go. End of the day reached. Efficiency. Yeah, this is the this is our primary issue at this moment in time. It is it is efficiency, uh, and that means that we need to get some some shorter cables set up. Right. Why are you not? Uh, why are you not getting power? You should be getting power. This uh, this seems like this seems this seems nonsensical. Right. Does that make a difference? That apparently makes a difference. I don't know what I did, but apparently we uh, we did done there fix it, which is excellent. Okay, substation is still enough to, to deal with to deal with the demand. That's excellent. Reinforced transformers. I don't even feel like I necessarily need reinforced transformers. Let's just skip forward to the end of the day. And let's see what the next day has in store for us. We're not really super worried about things at the moment as they stand. In fact, everything is... Everything is just fine. We're we're discharging. Okay, excellent. Uh, I don't know why the substation reduced because of proximity to satisfaction reduced because of proximity to basic substation. Oh yeah. Okay. So we need to bear in mind that because that because we have built this so close to the to the boundary, uh, we're gonna perhaps have some issues with satisfaction, uh, which leaves a little to be desired. But at the end of the day, if if that's if that's all that I have to worry about, and that's all that I have to worry about. Upgraded generators. Increase power output of all power plants by 5%. I mean, maybe? Genuinely, maybe. That would be that would be grand. I'm looking forward to this brand new city. It's uh it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. Certainly there's there's no real problems at the moment. I'm I'm very happy with, with how things are with how things are looking. The only thing that we really need to be worried about is perhaps is perhaps the fact that this is going to need to turn on automatically at a slightly earlier point. But that's it. Okay, demand is demand is high. Demand is high. We're we're hitting about 22. We're hitting about 22 at a max for for demand which is not really coming super near our max of the uh, the substation, but it's something that we need to consider nonetheless. And how's this cable doing? This cable is doing fine at the moment. Let's stick it into two times speed, and let's see, let's see what we're what we're able to to do. So that's 15 on that cable, six on that cable, uh, around about 21 or so. Not necessarily terrible. Definitely, definitely something that we're okay with. I'm not even gonna put a point into. I'm not gonna put a. Po I'm not in. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna put a point into upgraded generators quite yet. I might want to save my points for getting some uh, some PR related texts. Um, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure that that's what we're gonna do. Okay, fast forward and then stop fast forwarding. New city is being built in 14 hours. I look forward to that happening. Okay, so apart from the fact that our efficiency is a little bit low, everything is is going is going great for me. Right, new city is being built in eight hours. Let's see what the heck happens. What is gonna what is going to happen? Okay, we've got Oxbow over here. Now, 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 now. Is this going to be? Is this going to be a brand new? I mean, it's definitely going to have a brand new substation, right? 
is definitely going to have a brand new substation. I think we probably just need a basic substation. Let's place the basic substation, like, far out of town. Wonderful. Love the build effects as well. Let's get a low voltage cable. And then, do we want to connect up the, the gas power plant? It's going to be, it's going to be a bit expensive to get over there. 11k, 23k. Yeah. I think that's I think that's probably the best way of doing things. Yeah, the mayor of Phoenix is unhappy that our city's been without power. Yeah. Uh oh, actually, tell a lie. That is a very important consideration. There we go. The problem is is that I was not able to satisfy that in uh, in an appropriate length of time, which means that uh, my my overall satisfaction as indicated by this figure up in the top right-hand corner is going to decrease. Oxbow's been founded. The gas plant is going down for maintenance in, in a couple of hours. I, I have absolutely no idea if this is going to cause problems. I, I, I have a funny feeling that it might. Increases residential customer satisfaction by 5 percentage points. I feel like maybe I'm going to do that. Yeah, I'm going to do that, and that's going to hopefully take us uh, right the way up to 100 here. As soon as this building... What is this? A medical clinic? As soon as the medical clinic forgives me for being without electricity for a little while... Then, uh, then we'll be fine. It looks like there is a bug with the power distribution when it's coming from a battery, indicating that everyone is without power whilst the, the gas plant is actually down. It might be, perhaps, uh, a bit of a better idea just to take this lithium-ion battery farm thing offline, but it's fine. Medical buildings don't affect customer satisfaction negatively as quickly uh, when they are unpowered. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm going to put dynamic pricing on, though, because I feel like I want to make money more than care about sick people. Um, so that's what we're going to do. New city is going to be built in 13 days. Let's skip forward. I am very, 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 very apprehensive about what's going to happen when the gas power plant goes down. It's going to go down in 12 hours. So it's going to go out in the middle of the day. Now, the... The gas power plant turns back on at 4 o'clock in the morning, which should hopefully give the the battery farm plenty of time to charge up. Okay, good. Gas power plant is down for maintenance. Oh, easy. It's only like an hour or so. Yeah, so we're going to be absolutely fine. Not even going to get close to, to fully discharging the battery. No power. How, how on earth does it say that you have no power? I mean, that is an abject lie. Is it maybe something to do with the... Is it maybe something to do with the rate of charge and discharge of the battery? It might very well be that. It might very well be that. Yeah, okay. We we maybe need to, to think about our battery setup a little bit more... Uh, a little bit more... Uh, a little bit more thoroughly. I'm going to disable the turning on and off of the power plant. Instead, we're just going to keep it turned on at all times. How are these power cables looking? They're looking a little... They're looking a little spicy. You do not have power. Let's get a branch of the low-voltage power line. And that is fine with me. Looking good. Looking good. Efficiency is not bad. We're making around about 10k a day. This area is looking... Questionable. I think we're going to get a dedicated... A dedicated... A dedicated branch of power. 83% satisfaction. Excellent. It is a little bit of a longer route. I'm perhaps going to actually just try and shave off some of that route. The thing that I've got to bear in mind is I just stupidly forgot, is that the longer the distance that we are transporting power over, the, uh, the, uh, the more, the more power we actually lose, which is a consideration that I have to, that I have to keep in mind. Right, reinforced transformers, emergency generators, fine. What about this? You can only unlock this technology if there's three cities on the map. Well, there's 11, 11 days left. Reduces power consumption of residential buildings by 5%. I mean, that would be... That'd be grand if it's all possible. Alrighty, 13... 13k, and, uh, I think the hospital that is under construction there, that's gonna put a lot of strain on this cable right here. Oh, yeah, that's gonna put a lot of strain on that cable. Hmm. 
I, I have an idea, actually. Let's, let's move forward. Let's move forward. Let's see. There we go. Let's see how this cable's looking. We're looking at like 28k, and the substation is operating near maximum capacity. Okay, so this is a great opportunity, perhaps, maybe, to get a branch of uh, a branch of power flowing out from this substation. But actually, what I think that we want to do is we want to probably get ourselves a basic substation over here. We'll take a branch of this high voltage power cable from here, and then we will throw this cable right the way down here. Excellent. So that's going to immediately relieve a whole bunch of pressure on everything, actually. Yeah, that's, that's really good. That might even bump our efficiency up a little bit more. That might even bump our efficiency up just a just a smidgen more. Again, we probably could have taken a low voltage power cable from uh, from here, but I, I don't know what the loss would be. The loss would probably be pretty significant if we were to take it all the way over from uh, from this little little substation over here. In fact, there is there is a way that I can uh, it's power line load. There's no way to check what loss is. I don't think. Anyway, uh, we're we're hitting we're hitting all of our all of our houses that we need to, which is grand. We got a city being built in nine days. Wonderful. Upgraded generators. I don't even think that we necessarily need to worry about that too, too much at the moment. The only thing that I'm really worried about is a new bit of the city being built that I that I just completely miss, and therefore uh, I'm not able to I'm not able to respond by building the brand new cables that need to be built like that. Okay, so there is some. Power over here. Let's get that built. What is that? That's a small factory. Okay. All right. That's that's absolutely fine. What's our efficiency at? 87%. That's, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. That is pretty good. So transmission efficiency, I believe, is distance to the nearest substation. So this basic substation is benefiting from the fact that uh, it is in close proximity to the, the town square, for example. What? What is the route that that takes? Why do you not just take... Ah, whatever. I don't know. I don't know why you don't just uh, take power from that cable. Maybe it's because the, the power facilities are already fully allocated up to the 30 megawatts. Uh, it might be it might be worth trying to get improved cable alloys. Increases capacity of all power lines by 10%. I, I guess that would actually have a, a significant impact. Reinforced transformers. I'm going to take lobbying, get an extra one megawatt hour when sold to any customer group, which is just, it's just free money, right? I mean, I don't particularly need it, but I would love to get myself a nuclear power plant. Uh, I'm doing a great job. Thank you very much, amigo. I'm on 100% satisfaction, which is lovely. Also, what the heck is happening here? We are at maximum. We are at maximum. Yeah, we're hitting 80 megawatts in the evening as well. What the heck happened, dude? What the heck happened? Okay, this is gonna be this is gonna be an interesting day. This is gonna be a very very interesting day. So first and foremost, we need to get thanks. Uh, we need to get this over there. I'm gonna take reinforced transformers. Yep, because I I have a funny feeling that today we're gonna see this substation hit uh, hit something overload policy. You know what? Let's not worry about the overload policy. We've not actually had anything break down yet, mostly because this is this is on easy mode, and therefore it's it's pretty it's pretty easy. Uh, but but it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen at some point. We are we are basically coming up against our coming up coming up against our limit, which is which is very very worrying. Customer satisfaction is very high. It's good. What do we got here? Company information policy, power distribution, uh, compromise between reliability and efficiency. Okay, balanced, aggressive. Always prioritize transmission efficiency over reliability. Aha! Okay, so we can actually change that. And if we wanted to, that would... That would, uh, that would make a difference there. That would make a difference there. This is the substation. This is the substation that is that is going to bear the the vast majority of the brunt. Right. Look at that. We we've we've peaked here. We've peaked. This is this is a problem, which means that we are gonna we are gonna start drawing down on our storage facility, 
Now, that's not necessarily super problematic. How are we doing here? We're not doing too badly. We're not doing too badly. Storage facility is generally discharging fairly slowly. Our storage facility is is propping up a little bit of uh, a little bit of demand here. And it looks like, yeah, we're going to run out of power in the storage facility, but that should be at a time where we are able to where we're able to rely on the gas plant. However, I got to be honest, Mayor of Phoenix, I know that you're complimenting me for for all of the the good stuff that I'm that I'm doing for your city. Uh, we we have to think about we have to think very 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 seriously about getting a brand new way to produce power. I think the idea of a wind turbine is is kind of nice. Right. Uh, okay. I think the idea of a wind turbine is terrible. I think we're gonna get another gas fired power plant. Yeah. Oh boy, I hate this. This is miles away. Absolutely miles away. Okay, all right. I hate I hate gas fired fire plants. Biomass? No. No, 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 no. Coal fired? I mean, I really Look at the size of the area of effect of the coal power plant. That's ridiculous. Only when the sun shines though. Uh, where can I build the, the solar plants? That's ridiculous. Come on, you're not telling me the sun shines differently over here than it does shine over here. So this is a problem. And a nuclear plant, I mean, we can build a nuclear plant, but I think that I would have to be crazy to build a nuclear plant. I think what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to plonk down a... Yeah. I'm actually going to do it. I'm going to plant it down all the way over here. And we're going to link up to the grids right in here. Right, so that should take a little bit of strain off the, the system. In fact, it does mean that we can just quite happily disconnect this. There we go. So let's leave that disconnected. Let's let the gas-fired plant take the, take the brunt of things. Let's also set up a lithium, lithium ion battery over here. Get that set up as well. Okay, so now we've got two systems. This is still able to do up to 80 megawatts, which is fine. It's the substation that kind of worries me right now. Oh, whoops. There was something interesting there. Uh, pulling 50 from the grid, 3.65 megawatts in, uh, in losses. That's actually quite a considerable amount. That is not an inconsiderable amount when you think about it. Okay, let's, uh, let's move forward. 27k, not bad, not bad at all. High efficiency transmitters. I would like that actually. Reduces power loss at substations by 25%. Cool. Very, very cool. Uh, what, by the way, gives me these research points? I I don't know. I have absolutely no idea how we get these research points, but, but there you go. Uh, I'm going to swap one over to aggressive, which is going to prioritize transmission efficiency. Now, this is going to put a lot of extra... A lot of extra draw on this cable here. Uh, I'm just curious to see exactly what the heck is gonna is gonna happen, because we've not actually had, not actually had any cables start to break down yet. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be very very interesting. But efficiency is important. Aha! 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 Let's uh, swap it on over to balance. As you can see, uh, that's what happens. That's what happens. Boom. Get that set up. Uh, we're back on we're back on balanced. So uh, now the, the power is being divided equally between all of the cables as opposed to aggressive, which would just uh, prioritize efficiency. I, I don't think that that's necessarily something that we need to worry about too much, but it's fine. It, it's a consideration which we will we will need to keep in mind going forward. Anyway, the gas plant is is doing good. We could maybe toggle that off if we wanted to, but not a super big deal. Uh yeah that is that is fine what do we got high efficiency transformers nice i think it's just a research point a day maybe that's what it is nice okay high efficiency transformers love to see it now the next city is going to be coming online whoa 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 what the heck happened here why did that happen why the heck did that happen? 
Uh, I didn't realize that we had a problem. Did... Wait, what? How on earth is, has demand for power increased so much? Right, we clearly need to do something about this. We are pulling we are pulling far too much power here. Yeah, we gotta we gotta do something about this. Do we get cash back? Do we get cash back from destroying this? And to be honest, we can't even. We can't even pause, right? Pausing is not allowed. Uh, we gotta add extra capacity to our system. We gotta add extra capacity to our system in a way that it's not gonna interrupt existing supply, which is kind of really, really worrying. Okay, build this here, 20k. This is a brand new, a brand new investment. Let's get this to come out this way. Nice. Let's get that in there. That's good. Okay, excellent. Let's get... Let's get, uh, oh, yeah, we need to wait, we need to wait until, uh, until the evening to, to replace a few things. I do want to get another, I do want to get another gas-fired plant, and I want to actually get rid of my current gas-fired plants. Because it's, 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 it's growing a little bit too fast. Let's get this in place over here, and then let's get a connection to there. Nice. And that's going to fulfill some of the demand. We're going to be able to phase out this small substation very, very shortly. Don't necessarily know if we want to ditch it immediately. Okay, as you can see, this wire is becoming overloaded. It's becoming overloaded, and it's definitely a consideration that we need to bear in mind. This wire is becoming overloaded too. Uh, that, to me, tells me that we need to link up. Yep, we need to link up this here. We need to link up that there. Let's get this repaired. And I think that that should be okay. We need to get high... We need to get high... Uh, we need to get better alloys. We need to get better alloys real soon. You know what I'm also going to do? I'm also going to investigate a additional substation. Like, over here. Yeah, an additional substation over there might not be the craziest thing in the world. Uh, okay, it's evening time. It's it's time to uh, it's time to take this gas plant offline. Yep, this offline. Excellent. Let's get some new power cabling out that way. Let's get some power cabling out that way. I didn't really want to chain it all together actually. That's kind of not what I was going for, but we can we can address that in just a second. Okay, nice. I'm I'm much more comfortable with this. We've got a much better a much better setup here. Alright, link that up. Let's get this destroyed. Surprisingly, we still have a, a really, really decent chunk of change. That's a big, big substation now. So we gotta be super, super observant today uh, about what is what is gonna what is placing demands on our power. Uh, this can probably just take a branch off. It can probably just take a branch off that. Let's not delete all of this, but I will delete a little bit of it. So I still think that a gas-powered plant is, uh, a gas power plant is, is the best. Okay, this is being overloaded ever so slightly. It's being overloaded ever so slightly. Yeah, I I kind of thought that that would be that would be an issue. Let's delete that and let's go there and there. So we have two like entirely separate power connections. There is no way that that should have been all flowing through the same single point. That's just not what we need to see. Right. I'm going to do I'm going to do a nice long cable here. The the wastage is going to be absolutely gargantuan actually. Uh, or will it? Apparently not. Apparently it's gonna draw from, uh, from this power station over here. Or this substation over here, I should say. Right, this is getting deleted. This is gonna become its own bespoke connection up to the power plant. 
There we go. Wonderful stuff. So this is starting to look very, very organized and actually kind of professional. Dare I suggest. Transmission efficiency is increased. Satisfaction is still at 100%, even though we did have a few issues. We had a few issues. I, I won't deny that. We did indeed have a, a few issues with the... Uh, did have a few issues with the... Uh, with the substations and whatnot, but it's fine. Oh my lordy. Uh, okay, can I can I investigate a a wind turbine setup over here? No, you're you're not gonna let me build a wind turbine, are you? Oh flippin' heck, you're not. Oh my goodness. Okay, give me a give me a basic substation. Give me a basic substation right here. Give me medium voltage right through the center attack. Give me high voltage from the gas plant. Send that up in that direction. Nice. Okay. That immediately puts this power plant under quite a significant amount of strain. Yeah. What are we drawing? 75, 75 megawatts. Also, we are seeing... We are seeing capacity problems. We're seeing capacity problems in our existing network. Things are starting to fail just a little bit. Yep, this is this is not ideal. Satisfaction is still is still high though. Let's get through to the evening. Let's get through to the evening, please. This is a very very hot line. Oh my goodness gracious me. Okay, let's. Uh... Let's get a brand new line in here. Good. Nice. And again, since we're since we're balancing things, it should make should make everything a little bit easier. So we're providing power over here, providing power over there. Let's get a line in here. And we'll sort of redo this so that we can keep everything totally separate. There we go. That's much better. So there's now three completely independent lines coming out of this substation. I am not convinced. Uh, okay, don't love this, but I'm gonna I'm gonna add an extra little little offshoot there. That's fine. I am pretty convinced that this gas power plant is gonna start having some real problems providing capacity. A mayor of Oxbow. My goodness gracious me, does everyone have a freaking mayor here? Right, one additional research point is going to give us a 10% increase to all power lines. I mean, that is that is super important. Okay, yeah, this area is starting to really suffer from uh, from power. What that means is that it needs it needs its own gas-fired power plant. Yeah, it really does. Okay, I mean, look, at the end of the day, it's a it's a pretty expensive investment. But we will, we will do it nonetheless, and we will ditch this, and that will be that. Yep. Okay. Due to a new piece of legislation that was passed last week, all lithium batteries in your storage facilities need to be fully discharged and inspected soon. Uh, okay. In a while. Nice. In a while. Do that and that. Okay, just trying to future-proof this situation a little bit. Mayor of Oxbow is quite happy with my progress. There we go. Let's freaking go. Improved cable alloys. Very, very important. Very, very big for us. Yeah, no issues. No issues here whatsoever. Everyone got power with the exception of this one building, which has literally just come online right now looks that way. Yeah, what do I want to do with this? Yeah, we'll do that. I mean, this is a... There's so many freaking hospitals, aren't there? There's a lot of hospitals. Transmission efficiency is 89%. Storage facility charge. Uh, so yeah, this is a problem. This is a problem, but the good news is that the storage facilities are doing exactly what the storage facilities should be doing. At times of uh, little use, they are they are topping things up. Now, gas-fired power plant is going down for maintenance in a couple of hours. 
I say a couple of hours, 48 hours. That's okay. That's 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 okay. And we're gonna endure a lithium ion thing of nonsense. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna build a molten a molten salt molten salt storage thing over here. And we're gonna get this charged up. We're gonna get this charged up as quickly as we possibly can. What was it? What's it called? Molten salt facility. There you go. We're gonna we're gonna do that. Lithium ion is maybe we're too late to, to deal with this. Let's get another one of these right here. Let's try and get this charged up as much as we possibly can. I'm a little bit worried that this gas fired plant is gonna is gonna be running into some problems. Let's see if we can maybe get some wind turbines. And uh, I'm gonna just do something like this. There we go. Supplement our supplement our uh, our power generation because I think that we need it. We also need to bear in mind that these high voltage power lines are going to be carrying pretty close to their limit of, of power very very shortly indeed. But that's fine. We will we will keep we will keep that in mind. Let's future proof this setup over here. There we go. Looking good. Phoenix is a big city, actually. Right, are we still running down the, the lithium-ion things, or, or did they... Oh, no, they're they're actually totally fine. Alright, wonderful. Uh, wind is terrible. Wind is freaking terrible. The wind is absolutely, absolutely awful. Reduces power consumption of residential buildings. Yeah, I'll take that, actually. I will take that. I will take that. Let's see if we hit a less high peak today. So it was 180 yesterday. Uh, a little, a little bit lower. A little bit lower. Efficiency is not bad at all. How the heck are we going to get power over here? Probably through the construction of a brand new, a brand new system. Brand new cable system, that is. Oxbow is looking very, very impressive. Asbury is looking a little bit less impressive. Oh my giddy aunt. This substation is... This substation is approaching... Maximum capacity. Wow. Uh, 96 is the max that we can that we can tolerate, but... That was close, actually. That was very, very close. Worryingly close, in fact. How's this looking? A solar flare is coming. What the heck does that mean? What the heck does that mean for... For everything? Right. Uh, I think what we're gonna do... I mean, I think what we have to do is we need to build another... Another transformer. Simply, this substation is, is no longer good enough. Yeah. We're... We're gonna peak. Didn't peak quite as high today as it did yesterday, but it's not far off becoming very problematic. We do have storage facilities, though. We do have storage facilities to deal with this, which is very, very nice indeed. So we're not exactly... we're not exactly screwed. You know, we still have options. We still have options. Right, energy generators, let's not do that. Solar panels tax incentive. Reducing power demand of residential buildings by 10%. That's maybe not terrible. Improved insulation, effects of high and low temperatures and power consumption reduced by 25%. Eh, ah, maybe. Upgraded generators. I'm going to get upgraded generators and then I'm going to see, uh, I'm going to investigate those things in a little bit. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Solar freaking flare, dude. Oh my lordy. Uh, I don't, I don't think that that's really messed with consumption too much. That's just messed with my power grid. Okay. I was a little bit worried that something like that would happen, but it, it, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Did I repair everything? I think I repaired everything. Good. Okay. All right. Nice. So we now have a, a, a gas power plant on basically every, every system. Um, there's a little bit of redundancy in all of these systems by the, you know, the addition of these molten salt facilities, also these lithium-ion battery 
uh, facilities, which is kind of nice. So we're actually... We're actually in a really, really good place. I uh, can I get a nuclear? Can I get a nuclear power plant? Because I absolutely want to. That's the wrong one. Nuclear plant gives us 180 megavolts. Megavolts, megawatts. Operating cost is seven dollars per megawatt hour. What's a gas? It's eight. Biomass is cheaper, but it's smaller. Hmm. Solar is the cheapest, but the problem is, is that solar plants can only be built in, like, a very few select places. I think the the addition of a solar plant wouldn't necessarily be the worst thing, though, right? Yeah, you can build one up, up here. Let's get a, let's get a solar plant over, over here. 100k, but that actually barely, barely impacts the bank. Okay, what do we got? Gas... Fired power plant is down for maintenance. It's already sorted. The maintenance happens so freaking quickly, dude. Okay, current output is zero. That's because it's three o'clock in the afternoon, apparently. Due to lack of sunlight. What the heck? Oh, it's because it's in October. There's still sun in October? What are you talking about, video game? Okay. Upgraded generators. Let's do that. Absolutely. 5% of 80 is what? Like an extra four megawatt hours? Yeah, that's that's actually not too bad at all that's gonna help that's just gonna help with capacity a little bit efficiency is is really our only problem efficiency is really only our our only problem and to be honest i'm quite happy if efficiency is just a little bit lower if it means that we're placing all of these bits of infrastructure a little bit further away which is what we are doing everything is looking fine 60k a day don't mind me. We've not even had we've not even had any issues with the power lines in a while. New cities being built in 30 hours. Kraken. Okay, what's what's the issue here? We are drawing. We are drawing just a little bit too much from this substation. I am I am concerned. I am I am a little I'm a little concerned. Get that in there. So, what's the last the last level of substation? Doesn't convert high voltage into low voltage. Uh, used for switching your power parts of your power grid on and off. Um, not super worried about that. The advanced substation is is it apparently? That's that's fine. Does mean that we need to maybe think about how we go forward. I mean. The idea of getting another substation is not super appealing, although I think that we are at that point where we do need to consider such an eventuality. Yeah, I, I think, I think to be honest, that that's exactly what we need to do. I think we need to get ourselves an advanced substation. I think we need to get ourselves an advanced substation up here. I think we need to get a cable to lead out here. And I think we need to get ourselves low voltage cabling right down here, right down here. Uh, oh, lordy, that was bad placement, but also kind of great placement. Cool. Uh, why is this presenting such a problem? Hold on, ditch this. there out there and that will probably keep things a little bit uh, a little bit lower yeah this is gonna this is gonna really upset everyone in in this vicinity because they're super close to the substation basic substation is operating at maximum capacity over here yeah we're gonna we're gonna replace this in the evening also this is unacceptable oh yeah that that destroyed everything. Yeah, we're simply just drawing too much voltage through the high voltage cables. Also, this needs to be addressed. Okay, we need to we need to split this apparently. Oh man, there's so much happening. There's so much happening. There's so much happening. Okay. Uh let's get a advanced substation. Let's move it ever so slightly further back. 
Let's get a... Let's get a, uh, a cable in here. Let's get... This out this away. Let's ditch that. Let's add... This in there like so. Then let's ditch this. Nice. And then this is having capacity problems. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's absolutely fine. It's actually kind of to be expected. I guess we'll repair it, then we'll ditch it. Fine. And uh, ditch that. Yes. Ditch that. Cool. All right. Things are things are looking great. Uh, this remains this remains problematic. You know why this is a problem? It's because we it's because we're feeding in it's because we're feeding in the excess power that we need from the molten salt facility. There's just too much too much of a there's just too much of a demand on our on our power here. Right, nuclear plant, nuclear plant. Let's go let's go nuclear. Let's get a nuclear plant right in the corner there. This is very, very exciting. Let's get this replaced. Excellent. And uh, let's delete this. Yep, I'll take that back. This is causing a problem. It shouldn't cause a problem. After I get, uh, I get a brand new cable gonna run this way and this way then this way then in here right so that means that there will be much less much less demand because we've got uh we got what 30 megawatts coming through this cable and then we're gonna have oh hold up it's flowing through the facility Oh, I didn't realize that it could flow through the facility. I mean... There we go. That's a little bit better. It looks like we need to have an isolated... Looks like we need to have an isolated setup here. Let's get that molten facility in there. This is an area that is without power. Cool. All right, so I think that that has probably addressed the issues that we were having. Nuclear plant is already up past 100, uh, past 100 megawatts. To be honest, kind of unexpected. Kind of unexpected. It's, it's making a lot of power. All right, what do we got here? High performance photovoltaic cells. Solar power output is increased by 20%. Uh, wind power... Turbines have increased by 10%. Eh, pollution filters reduces NIMBY range of gas and coal-fired power plants by 25%. Maybe. Uh, improved insulation, effects of high and low temperatures on consumption. Uh, residential buildings produce part of their own power, reducing their power demand by 10%. Might actually take that, to be honest. Yeah, I think I'll take that. It's just gonna it's just gonna keep us keep us chill for a little bit longer. Also, I'm acutely aware that this area is now effectively in need of a brand new a brand new substation there we go so phase it in there we go there we go And here. Like so. Delete that. Delete that. Delete that. And that like there. What do you know? That's looking real that's looking real good. What's the issue? I saw an issue somewhere. Oh, apparently not. Apparently oh no, there is an issue down here. Uh, it was a way to say I thought everyone was happy. I thought everyone was happy for a moment there. But it's okay, because the building hasn't even finished construction yet, and it's low-density housing, so uh, we can just about manage to provide uh, the required the required power over there. Okay. 
That was a very smooth day, actually. That was a very, very smooth day. We are making a lot of money. We are making a ridiculous amount of money. Now, bear in mind that we did invest a fairly significant chunk of change into the grid when we got ourselves this, uh, this nuclear power plant. But at the end of the day, I think that I'm very, very happy with where we are. It does seem that when one problem starts, uh, others follow and uh, everything sort of cascades in a waterfall-like motion. Also, are, yeah, satisfaction reduced because of proximity to the advanced substation. You shouldn't have built a freaking town where I placed the substation then, eh? Doesn't make any sense. Composite wind turbines. Uh, I'll take extra... I'll take extra solar out, but I really don't know if this solar panel is worth it, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, it's not actually too bad. It's just that we're prioritizing power from the uh, the gas plant at the moment. The problem with the location uh, of the wind turbines and the solar plants is that they are so freaking far from everywhere that it basically means there's always uh, a problem. Let's do this. That's actually okay. There we go. Get that repaired. Nice. Uh, that's still putting us under pressure? Wow. Uh, okay. Didn't think that would cause as much of a problem as it did. That's okay. Fix it, fix it, fix it. Fix it, fix it, fix it. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. We're now better. Barely. We're barely better. Okay. This is so... This is so touch and go. Nice. Okay, good. How's our nuclear plant doing? It's not doing too bad. It's not doing too bad. Generation capacity is at 364. It's the transportation capacity that I'm really worried about. Okay. Yeah, um... There is something that we can do about this, to be honest. There is. Let's do a route directly. Ditch that in there. Ditch that in there. So this is gonna make things... Oh, no, 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 no. My bad, my bad, my bad. It's gonna make things slightly funky. But it does mean that our... In Entire, our entire battery capacity is going to come from solar generation and wind generation as opposed to as opposed to gas power. The gas power plant is basically working, you know, full speed ahead, always on overtime mode anyway. So it doesn't particularly matter. Uh, that's that's fine there. That was a terrible bit of power cabling, but. I'll take it. I'll take it because it means that we're able to hopefully avoid uh, overcapacity problems at some point in the future. Solar farms going down for maintenance. I'm not super worried about that. Gas-fired power plant. Which gas-fired power plant? This one? Ooh. Uh, it's okay. Maintenance takes barely any time anyway. And we've got all of the solar capacity as well, which is going to be great. Our batteries are going to get charged up. It does mean that our it does mean that our salt facility and our lithium ion uh, factory, our lithium ion battery place, uh, that is going to be that is going to be undergoing a, a series of. Yeah, there we go. It's going to drain real fast. It's going to drain so freaking fast, dude. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh boy. Oh yeah, that is that is fast. Okay. Because, yeah, that just, puts, that just puts everything under so much strain. Part of the problem... Ah, I see. Part of the problem is that we are providing this substation actually with 100% solar. Which is... Which is a bad idea. Let me... Let me get some, some nuclear involved. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. I mean, now we're cooking with uranium. 
Yeah, that fixes all of our problems. That that fixes literally all of our problems. Does kind of make wind power and solar power completely redundant, but there you go. I guess it's kind of renewable. Right, new city is being built in four days. That's wonderful. Molten Salt Scandal. An influencer almost had a fatal accident whilst trying to sneak into one of your Molten Salt facilities during a live stream. Nationwide legislation that requires all Molten Salt facilities to be inspected has been passed. Oh, come on. It's just a little bit of salt. It's just table salt. But molten. Okay. Supermarket is unhappy because they didn't get their power fast enough. That's okay. Let's get uh, improved insulation. Okay. A little bit of a power shortage over here. We made 100k in a day, by the way. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Still low satisfaction here. It's okay, though. It's okay. I am unhappy with how much power this substation is having to maintain. Molten salt facilities will be closed soon. That's fine. Kind of expect that to happen. All right. No, no real issues here. No real issues at all. We got our molten salt uh, places closing down soon. We got a new city coming online in just a moment. What do we got over here? Uh, we got a problem. That's what we got. That might push us over. Might push us. Yeah, kind of expected that that much would happen. Uh, this this area needs a second substation. This this area absolutely needs a second substation. And uh, the fact that it hasn't got a second substation already is really bad. Let's get a bespoke cable out from the nuclear power plant because I don't want to put any additional strain on any additional cables. Uh, no, 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 no. This is not, this should not be a problem. This should not be a problem. Yeah, there we go. When everything, when everything is good and good and happy, this, this should be fine. Nice. Nice. Oh my lordy, it's, it's so freaking spicy up here. That shouldn't be... Oh, that, that gas plant? Wait, what? Are we not able to produce enough power over here? Yeah, we absolutely are. That's fine. Okay, I could be skipping maintenance cycles, by the way, if I was feeling really dangerous. But I absolutely categorically don't want to do that. Skipping maintenance cycles seems like uh, a crazy thing to do. Still don't love this setup here. Divide that halfway in town. I'm not comfortable with Oxbow. Oxbow has grown a little bit too big for its own good. Nice. I I think that we're going to see some problems in Oxbow. That's my uh, that's my guess. Also, this you know what? Let's actually future-proof this in a way that we don't usually do. Let's build an advanced substation. Let's get that through the center of town. Let's get a brand new cable coming out from the nuclear plants. Advanced substation. That's absolutely fine. Oh, my giddy ant. It's just so... It's so big. How? What the heck was that, dude? What the heck was that? What the heck was that? Oh, that was a substation. Oh, my lordy, that was a substation. Uh, boy. Uh, okay, good. Substation is now back up online. That's that's great news. I'm, I'm delighted. I, I feel like I'm actually starting to maybe come up against my maximum capacity of, of things that I can do before I get immensely stressed out. Things are... Things are stressing out... Things are happening quickly. I can't even speak properly. There, there's a lot of stress involved. There we go. Fine. Most of these... Most of these power grids are just being tweaked ever so slightly. They're being extended by a little bit. And that really is, I guess, the... the you know, the fundamental point of this game. A solar flare is coming. Get ready. 
Uh, I mean, there is not much that I can do about that. That is... That is just something that's gonna happen. You're unhappy with me. I, I don't care about that. Is the solar power thing gonna come on today? No power. How do you not have any power, dude? Uh, you should have power. What's the issue with that? There is... There's power cuts happening in the center of town. How? Is it because you're over your limit? I think it might be because you're over your limit. Uh, okay, here's what we gotta do. Here's what we gotta do. We gotta hit ourselves up with a... Another advanced substation. Gotta add that over there. I'm gonna see if I can try and maybe yoink a offshoot from this nuclear power plant here. Let's do that. We'll do this. I know a couple of people don't have any power. I get it. We're about to fix it up. So do that. Okay, good. And... Nice. Fine. All right. I think that's a... I think that's a little bit better. Send that upwards. Oh, the... Oh, the joys. The joys of a solar flare. Probably, if I had to guess, some pretty key bits of power cable are gonna go down over the course of this solar flare. We're gonna get everything... Gonna get everything repaired. Thank goodness I got the no negative medical modifier. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Nice. I think that's it, right? This is obviously horrific. This is this is very, very obviously horrific. This freaking the size of this stadium is is probably causing like a huge causing a huge like solo power surge. There we go. Okay, try that. Repair this. So this so the stadium is going to get its own bespoke supply. This needs to get repaired before the cable nearby ends up overheating. That's fine. That's that's good, in fact. Good. And where is this going to get its power from? I guess here. Fine. Oh boy, what have I learned from this experience? Well, building power stations is all good and well, but if you can't if you can't build the infrastructure, well you're you're in trouble. Also, this needs to be redone. This needs to absolutely categorically be redone. To be honest, I think what we need to do right now, stick in a, an advanced substation in here. Stick in a Oh my goodness gracious me. Stick in one of those. Where'd the power go down here? How is this still causing problems for us? Yeah, it looks fine to me. 29 megawatts. Okay. Ditch, 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 ditch. Ditch that, ditch that, ditch that. Yep. And ditch that. And across there. Okay, repair this, hopefully, before it puts extra strain on the system here. Don't explode. Don't explode. Don't explode in two places. Oh, my Gideon. Oh, it's so spicy. How on earth are you still over capacity here, dude? 
How on earth are you still over capacity? What can I get? Uh, power saving lights? Oh, give me power saving lights. Please give me power saving lights. Okay. Uh, this is clearly, this is very, very clearly causing uh, some pretty serious problems. It looks like we're mostly on top of things now, but that's almost certainly because... If I just connect the grids together here, is that going to make any difference? I feel like, you know what, it might. But it's still going to get hot. If I just delete it, is that going to make it less hot? It actually unironically looks like it's made it less hot. Oh, is it maybe because both of the substations were trying to output to the grid? I think that's what might have been happening there. Oh, we got somebody that doesn't have any power. Uh, it's because it's a basic station, isn't it? Okay, well, we can we can easily redo this as a larger substation. And in fact, it gives us an opportunity to... Uh, gives us an opportunity to redo it at a bit of distance. Okay, good stuff. Ditch that, and I know it's going to temporarily disable everyone's power, but at the end of the day, everyone is going to get access to a brand new high-spec generator, which is very, very nice. Okay, all right, there's not too many problems here, actually, at all. Oh, it's spicy, it's spicy, it's spicy, it's never been spicier. Get a brand new cable over there. Freaking Phoenix here is is just an absolute monster, isn't it? Just an absolute monster. Let's get a brand new bespoke cable for this uh, for this road. There we go. Okay, no power issues today. That's good. I was away to say just a few more. A few more areas to, uh, a few more areas to connect, but at the end of the day, that's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. Look at that. What do you know? It's victory. You've managed to keep the company uh, afloat and customers happy uh, for 50 days. I would love to submit my position to the leaderboard. Sure. Why the heck not? Orbital Potato, where where do I end up going? I'm, I rank in the top 47% of all players. I mean, look, at the end of the day, I don't think that you can necessarily uh, complain about that too much at all. You rank in the bottom 27% of all players, so I invested basically nothing, which is fine. Uh, top 47% of all players in terms of energy sold, I guess there's maybe a little bit more optimization that I could have eked out over there. Everyone here um, was able to continue the day 50 as, uh, as the end of the CEO, as a CEO, and all, all things considered, I don't think that we did necessarily too badly. Uh, I think, I think that was great. Um, I would like to keep playing, but I don't want to keep playing the game anymore. I feel like that is absolutely enough stress for me for a little while. So we are going to uh, wrap this this little this little video up here. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Power to the People. I've been Open Potato. Thanks as ever to the fantastic supporters over on the Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash Open Potato. I like this game. I'm really looking forward to the game when it comes out as a, as a full release, which will be at some point in the future. I don't know. You can check out the link uh, to the demo down in the description below. But for now, thanks to Banana Nanana and Aurelia from the 225.plus tier patrons. Thank you very much for watching, folks. I'll see you next time. Bye.